Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Millie here, and I'm back again with another video. Today, I'll be doing things you need to know before coming to the University of Plymouth. That's in terms of school fees, accommodation, where to buy food, the cheapest, about Plymouth City, job opportunities. Because I have actually been getting a lot of questions in my DMs, like IG, and actually got an email, which is kind of cool. I got an email just like asking me scholarships and like, how is Plymouth like and do you think I should come to Plymouth or do you think I should go to Birmingham? Like is it cheap? How is it housing? Different things like that. Girl, I need you guys. Let the conversation get a little deeper. Uh, tell your secret. You wouldn't even tell Jesus. Uh, come up so in this video I'll be answering most of the questions I got to my DMs and some other, you know, advisable things that you need to know for coming to University of Plymouth. Or Plymouth in general. Also, please know that everything I'm saying is basically on the university's websites. So, I know sometimes it's hard to like find like the information you're looking for on the website, but everything I'm going to tell you is on the university's website or the UPIX website or on the internet. But yeah, let me just like break it down for you and maybe based off everything on my own experience, if that makes sense. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. I actually wrote down a list of no I wrote down a list of things that or key points that I'm going to be talking about. Yeah. So firstly about Plymouth. Um obviously everybody knows that Plymouth is by the ocean. There are a lot of ships. And the best part about it, like being by the ocean, is that during summer, like right now, when it's super hot, like the sun burns. It's nothing like Nigeria sun or like Lagos sun. It burned. So it's like there's a lot of breeze that can like how would I put it counter the heat if that makes sense. Yeah, so I like like the weather. The weather is really nice and it's safe. It's ranked wait where I wrote it. It's ranked the seventh safest city in the UK, which is really good. I don't know the ones that are below it, but for the fact that it's seven, that means it's really safe. I mean I've been here and I've not had one, like, you really hear, like, one thing, like, you know how maybe in America It's not like, that's like the last, very, what do you call this, not safe thing I heard also in terms of cheap it is ranked the third cheapest city in the uk so i don't know there are so many reasons why you should come to Plymouth, apart from the fact that it's cheap it's cheap it's affordable it's affordable it's safe it's very safe and the weather is wonderful and it's not like it's boring like everybody seems like yeah, it's very very boring there are lots of things to do and because like i feel they're trying to attract new what's the word new people to come because there are a lot of tourists in Plymouth. Because of the ocean and everything, so they have like events that happen. Yeah, because I remember if you guys watched my previous video, there was this phone fair thing, and there's also going to be one fireworks thing happening at like the end of this month or beginning of August. So, yeah. Now let's go mainly into University of Plymouth. So you guys, I had like some questions about scholarships and you know post grad and all those things. I do you not know anything about it before? Like I knew that I was I could get scholarship if I like did very well in my first year, then I could get a scholarship. But I didn't know that postgrads or masters had scholarships. So I went to the website and I found like um a list of scholarships um that are available for postgraduate students and I'm going to just like read it in summary in summary. Because some of them are not like some of them are not for Nigeria, some of them are for like Malaysia and India only and then some of them are like for you know everybody that's come to international students and some of them are not for international students if that makes sense so I decided to just like get the list so obviously the link is going to be in my description box so you can just go and cut it if you want to so the first one is that there's going to be an aluminous loyalty reward that's basically if you have graduated from the University of Plymouth you get 20% of your postgrad school fees or your eligibility obviously it's depends on your um 
with called your academic your results it depends on your results so yes um you will not be eligible if you have outstanding loans and if you already have a master's qualification and if you're okay yeah, you have to register with full 180 credits i don't know what that means but yeah then the second one is the Santander scholarships i think that one is only in india malaysia no the Santa, sorry the Santander scholarship is not on your school fees that one is for you to like buy laptops or spend it like it's like 500 pounds you buy laptop books things you need for school maybe it's supposed to like a project you're working on things like that that's not other scholarships then there's great scholarships that one is for india malaysia and Indonesia. so i'm not really going to speak to it then the fourth one is the international academic excellence scholarship it has 50 percent of your tuition fees you have if you have to have a very good academic record english language requirements you have to have an offer from university and it is on it is not for people that are schooling in school of arts design architecture biomedical science health nursing and my i don't my crew or just like nursing yeah it's not like if you're doing any of those courses, if you're any of those schools in Plymouth, you're not eligible. Then there's also Plymouth Business School Support Scholarship. That's 2,500 of your tuition fees. And you have to have, obviously, an outstanding career performance and offer letter, obviously. Then the other one is the Postgraduate Taught International Student Scholarship. This one is 2,000 of your fees and 10% of the successive years of your overall grade of 60 and above. Above. Then, obviously, you have to have like an equivalent of two to one, two ratio one degree, standard English requirements. Then, yeah, Peninsula, sorry, Peninsula Dental School, Medical School, Biomedical Science, School of Psychology, excluded. So. If you're in any of those, like if you're going to study in the field and your field is in those schools, you are excluded. Yeah. Now, in terms of, in terms of, um, obviously there's, I think there's one other scholarship that's for people that are doing like medicine or like psychology and science, but I didn't really find it there. Or I just, I don't know. But you know, I hope this helped for people that come to like business or etc. Now, in terms of like i was asked like oh i got an offer letter and they asked me some questions and this and this basically the whole process for me when i was applying to university of Plymouth was hectic it was like i mean in uk in general like you have to write an like an essay you have to write i had to write a lot of essays or cover letters whatever i had to write a lot and they will tell you to write multiple times like maybe they will send you a questionnaire and then they will not ask you again why do you want to so my advice was to write a full cover letter of why you want to come here the reasons blah 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 and then whenever they get to that section on why you want to come in anything they ask you, you just copy and paste and maybe add extra things because it's just to keep on rewriting the same new thing every time so yeah when you when you get like in the rest of the month and your qualifications are okay most times they will send you a conditional offer and you have to like fill in something and then i think they'll, you the conditions will be stated on your you know letter and then when you do fulfill those conditions it's not like something much like oh go and finish one year of a levels or something like that no they will just you just have like a minor condition and then you just do the condition then get an unconditional letter you cannot come to university of Plymouth or get your visa with a conditional letter you have it has to be an unconditional letter obviously the most important thing for you to know is your cast so that cast without that cast you can't get a student visa so before you can get the cast you have to have a two thousand pounds deposit for school fees without that you cannot get I think tonight that should be like two million naira. So without that, you cannot get the visa. And yeah. So and my advice to everybody is like you have to be very honest about you know what you're putting there because I mean this is UK. Everything is they they really do like joke with records. Like it may work for you now. It may be it may be okay for you now. Like it may be going good for like five years, six years. But if the moment they find out that something is wrong here 
you're going back to where it came from so just be very honest in whatever you're feeling in obviously anyways just be very honest whatever you're feeling in now in terms of accommodation i know i was getting asked like oh is the accommodation cheap or like can i get something like 60 to 80 80 to 100 yes because climate is very cheap when it comes to housing most especially if you live the further away from uni you live the cheaper it gets accommodation wise i don't know about like private housings but the further away from uni the cheaper it gets because the color to uni the more expensive it is so if you look for like an accommodation like a housing if you live like there's a place called Motley, there are like cheap housings there there's also where i stay right now very cheap my room was like 60 pounds which is like to everybody that i told you like yeah i'll be i for real my room is very small and i don't have my own toilet and that's like very important for me so i mean depends on you if you can i mean i'm sure next year because everything is kind of increasing it won't still be 60 it'll be like 80 or something or 75 so how the housing it ranges from like let's just say 80 to 200 or depending on your budget but shared houses like from 80 to like 150 and then studios also have from like 120 to above and then like just your own toilet and your own bathroom are from like 95 to above so obviously i got like some some sites or some what do you call it letting agencies i hope it's accommodations some are for some are for housings like when i mean housing that's like it should be 10 people in a house like five to ten people or to twenty people in a house and then you guys share a kitchen and a washroom so in a shared house there's there's a shared kitchen there's shared toilets sometimes sometimes you get to toilet sometimes shared toilet and then the washing what do you call it washing machine is in the house you get so you can just dry your stuff outside which is really better than spending money on you know, washing and drying your clothes and sometimes clothes don't even dry properly. That makes sense. Yeah. Um mm, so let's just get into the accommodation um agencies. So the for me the best is definitely student choice because I feel like they take care of the houses. Like the houses like you come in and you know that okay, this house is what I saw in the picture, if that makes sense like and they constantly come and clean it's like where i stay right now there's a cleaner that comes every once every month and just cleans the common area that's the toilet and that's like the kitchen and the um they don't wash your dishes by the way but they clean it clean like the gas everywhere like the common the living room and the toilet so if you're someone that ends up getting stuck with very dirty roommates at least you know that once a month somebody's coming to clean the toilet if you don't want to clean the toilet if that makes sense and then I feel like it's just every, I feel like every student choice house I've entered is very neat. Like I don't know how to explain it. But stay clever. <laughs> I mean stay clever is not bad. Stay clever has some like really good houses, but I know that sometimes they'll be like uncompleted stuff or like just the way the house kind of looks. Doesn't look like it's well taken care of. But there was this stay clever um house that was like really I was actually meant to be there but plans changed. Houses was really good but for me, I think the best for shared housing is definitely student choice. Then secondly, there's also unit lets, city lets, um, interest lets, there's purple lettings. Yeah, those ones are for like housings and stuff. Then when, in terms of like accommodation, where it's like, you, like, if you've heard of Berkeley Points, I don't know, you can just check it, Berkeley Points. So in terms of accommodation, there's like n there and there's like, studio and just like different things depending on your budget so that one is like a group of everybody in that building is going to be a student and um i think you can pick maybe you every you want to be mixed or not and then also aside from that you get like a common room where there's like table tennis or like pool or like there's also a washroom yeah so if you're coming, if you have the budget and you're coming like for the first time to the UK, that's probably where you should go to, like an actual accommodation, not a house. Because it's just better for like making new friends and stuff like that. So for finding like student accommodation, actual student accommodation, is uni ACO, IQ student accommodation, there's Yugo student accommodation, there's Aspire students living, 
and there's i think i said uni yeah and also university has student halls so um yeah student halls is like um there's a hall basically and there's like maybe six rooms or seven rooms and then there's one toilet and there's one bathroom in every hall if that makes sense but somebody comes to clean the place regularly the toilets regularly so don't worry about that now let's talk about job up here op opportunities um for me i think it's not that hard to get a job if you want. i mean in terms if you want to get a job like cleaning it's very easy and cleaning pays so don't come and think that okay i'm coming from you know nigeria and i had like this really good job and then i'm coming here and i'm cleaning i mean if you if you want to like get something that was that's like just at least be getting some some kind of income and then you can be looking for another job you start to clean i mean i'm not starting with cleaning but i have friends that started with cleaning yeah so it's the easiest job to get actually and it pays good money also warehousing and if you have a driver's license yeah so all just like difficult jobs stock taking all these things you definitely get it because a lot of them don't want to be doing that job you get so yeah it's very easy to get a job especially cleaning just apply to using indeed i feel like everybody knows indeed has been using indeed has like cutting jobs to indeed you can also get you can also work in like mcdonald's but i know that mean i tried applying for mcdonald's a number of times i did you know they know i am <laughs> they know i am but like you should download indeed so they they pay ranges from like 950 to 1050 and 950 is like if you're i mean if you're below if you're below 18 you get paid like below nine pounds so but if you're like 18 19 20 i think you get 950 i think if you're 21 to 23 you get like 1050 and then from 23 above you get like a higher amount but like if you're from some jobs still pay more than 950 that's just like the minimum you get that's just like the some just pay 16 some just pay 20 some just pay 15 some just pay 13 12 depending on what you're doing there's no care jobs by the way if you want to do a care job I'll be talking for a long time now in terms of food um obviously if you're coming from nigeria asia or whatever and you need spice there are obviously asian shops and um nigerian stores and african shops and also african restaurants and asian restaurants basically because you're living around the university you're closer to the city center no matter where you'll be close to the city center even if it's a 20 minutes walk or a 15 minutes walk you're close to the city center so everything you need is in the city center but sometimes like if you live around me there's an audi here there are like two audis in, in this plymouth area so there's one here and there's like one really far away from me so the best place to buy your things is probably audi because audi's and stuff are cheaper not tesco because in audi bread is like 70p then in tesco bread would be like one pound 15. so you can see what i'm saying so audi is like the best place to buy your food stuff from um i hope that i've answered every question that i normally get in my dms because yeah because in case like i don't know just share this video to anybody that has any questions because i'm kind of tired of of like <laughs> typing the same thing over and over again but if you have like more questions you want to ask about like the application process and things like that just come to my dms and i'll like help you also um someone was also asking me about like private housing i don't know anything about that because i'm not bothered looking for a private house and i'm more into student accommodation but i can also help you find out anything you want to know about climate. so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video come to yourself now because it's very peaceful and then it's very good for your studies and you'll get work you'll probably get work because the place is empty and then when students are around you will get jobs because that's not sense so that's not they need more people so yeah come to yourself Plymouth and yeah that's the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe by the way. and if you have any questions if you have any comments that you want to share just drop it down below or send me an email or a dm on my ig yeah see you guys later Thank you.